Alright, let's go to the final battle. Let's go. We're gonna go to the final battle. We're gonna stop the Dookie. Duke! Duke, we have the four elemental spirits. Their power can counter the Autophagos. There's no need to use people to destroy the Autophagos. Look at its size. Four spirits are nothing against it. They're crucial. We'll make up the rest by turning the Blastia cores to spirits too. Every single core in the world! And as a bonus, it'll put an end to the Blastia culture that you hate so much. Not too shabby, huh? I doubt humans will hand over their Blastia quietly. Or will you force them? We don't force anyone to do anything! Can you not believe that people can move forward and change? Humans will not let something go once it is in their grasp. So you won't listen? We will destroy the Autophagos our own way. Please! Wait just a little longer! The people are determined as we are determined. We won't let that go to waste. And will the world return to its former state? Huh? Will the air be controlled by the Entelikea? Will all life return to a time when nature ruled? No. You are changing this world, our Terka Lumeres. For what? For the convenience of humans. Nothing more. Can't you think that the world might be growing? I think of the Entelikea becoming spirits as evolution. Can't you see that? I would not presume to speak on the choices of the Entelikea. However, I also have my choices. So you won't listen to us because we're humans? You say you can't trust people, so you just drop everything. Then when it's too late, you try to wipe them out? Do you know what this tower is? Tarkaron was once a city, but the ancients turned it into a weapon. To destroy the Antilochea. <sighs> to the ancients who did not recognize the threat of the Blastia. The Antilochea who attacked the Blastia were nothing more than a nuisance. And the air went out of balance, and the Autophagos appeared. 
Only then did humans listen to the words of the Entelechea. Our world has seen many sacrifices, yet humans committed the same offense, and they will again. Those who eat away and ruin this world, those who would change the world for their own continued existence, they are apostles of destruction greater than even the Atafagos. Is that the reason you're trying to destroy humanity? I made a vow to my friend that I would protect this world. A Lucifer. So Chroma told you. Yeah, she also told us to stop you. She listened to us too and became a spirit. So please, we can do this together. Enough. If the Entelechea would throw away their mission, then I will take it up. I need not wait for your method. Once I complete this formula, the world will be saved. Duke, stop! As long as humans rule, they will commit the same offense time and again. If that happens, their hearts will grow wild and the future will be even more painful. Even if that happens, it's the path we choose. Even if we are hurt or stopped, we can still walk again as long as we don't give up. She's right. You'll never find anything new if you're afraid of making mistakes, of failing. And unlike you, we haven't chosen this path on our own. Everyone decided on it. Yeah, going it alone might be tough. But we're not alone. If one person can't do it, then we do it together. I finally learned that we can walk together like that! I. Eventually, you'll hit a dead end with the solutions you come up with alone. But if everyone takes up oars together, no wind nor rain can stop you crossing the ocean. That may be sufficient for those who are connected to one another. However, there will always be some who cannot accept a difficult future. You all surely understand that. It will be difficult, but that is reality. They will take what changes, think, and change again. Both the people and the world. So even if it takes tens, hundreds of years, they will listen someday. I know this now. That's what it means to live. Change is painful, but fearing it means we never make any progress and will be there to support those who need it. That's why knights exist, why guilds exist. Right. There are things you have to protect, but this old man wants to see what lies ahead for people in the next era. See how the fools change for those who can't see them anymore. I just don't get it. We started from the same place. I do not understand it either. One would think we would also strive for the same future. Why, Why must we fight? <sighs> so, you don't even see yourself in the future you envision. My existence as well may one day bring ruin to this world. How nice of you to sacrifice yourself. Enough! Come! This isn't a path we chose alone. The Intelikea, the Kritya, they've chosen the same path. I have no reason to go along with your plan. Could you be any more stubborn? Why won't you listen? We have to bring that hope into reality. The Endelikea will regret that decision, and humans will wish that... They had died. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Even if it means fighting for our, our lives. Such a foolish conclusion. There is no longer any point in talking. I'm 
wish we could have come to an understanding. I guess we can't change you. No more. yourself. How can someone be so strong even when they've decided to give up their life for the world? My feelings for this world give me strength. You actually want to live. You want to keep those feelings alive. <laughs> I also promised a fallen friend to return this world to its natural state. And I would die to fulfill my promise. My friend! Grant me your strength! Did it! The Ento 
Kalakea became spirits. Using the spirits to defeat the Autophagos is not a fantasy. If everyone has faith, we can do it. Your memories of him bind you. I feel sorry for you. So I am the only stubborn one? No. I am not mistaken. I will use all my power to eliminate your misguided purpose. <laughs>
Ah, oh, come on! Ended all with this. Oh. No one can stop our hopes. I just wasted my over limit at the last part. Dang it, man! I'm sorry, Elucifer. I could not keep my promise. I don't know what a Lucifer was like, so this doesn't mean much coming from me. But if El Lucifer fought for humans during the Great War, then I don't think he'd want his friend to reject humanity. El Lucifer's wish to protect the world, peace for all living things. I'm on it! Here we go. Estelle, synchronize. Judith, give me support. Okay. Understood. Yuri, let's go! My heart's all a flutter. <sighs> We're counting on you, boss. <sighs> Something. It's gotta work. This can't be how it ends. And to look here. Spirits. Humans. The Lucifer. Can this world truly change? Damn it, come on! <laughs> Spirits? You mean all of them? Awesome! 
All the Antelikea who became Atafagos, they all transformed into these spirits. So the Atafagos was also part of this world. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Aye, it is. We did it. Was this truly the right thing for us to do? I don't know. We lost all the Blastia, and with that, the barriers are gone. But we chose that path, so I guess we gotta live with it. As long as we're still alive, we'll be okay. You are strong. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because I'm not alone. Hey, Duke! See you around. We made it! Yay! <laughs> oh my god. Hi, right, look! The spirits! running water now. Nice. <laughs> Still pitching at Yuri's nose. <laughs> oh, Yuri's sleeping. Okay. And then there's Estelle reading a book. Oh, okay. Formal Estelle, okay. Was it Estelle of the Knights? Still at the council. Okay. And then there's Rita doing crazy magic experiments. <laughs> and then there's Cre Rita doing an explosion and falling down. Okay. And then there's Rita going to see Estelle with a flying device. Okay. With a helicopter. Oh no, the miners found a big dragon. Run away! Oh, and looks like they found treasure. Oh, those guys. Oh man, I remember those guys. And then there's a raven tying people up. Okay. And then there's a schwanti. Raven, a swan. Oh, I'm leaving the knights again. And then there's Raven at the bar with uh, Carol. And there's Yuri and Estelle heading out flyers. <laughs> and there's Bahul. And on the back is Judith. And there's Bahul and Judith passing by. And Carol's sitting in the forest. Ca 
Daryl, meeting everyone in the forest. Yuri kneeling down for some reason. Uh, a dragon. Okay. Cough mat with Patty. Cough mat sailing the seas with Patty. Okay. Patty the pirate with her pirate crew. Actually, no, I think Estelle is writing in this one. The book, probably about all this stuff that happened. Raven playing chess with her bead. Yuri sitting by the cliffside. That's Yuri and Dongress, and the, the yeah, that's in Dongress. Let's repeat, looking at the moon. Oh, Nan and Carol. There's Nan and Carol. That's kind of nice. So Carol is with Nan. Repeat is howling at the moon. Yuri going to see Flint in my window. Hey, Flynn, I'm coming into your window. <laughs> Repeat looking at a B, I think. And then there's the hunting blades. Man, Tyson, and Flynn. And there's Kaufman. Fly the guilds. Oh, and there's Soja lecturing the knights. And there's Witcher making electricity. I am Witcher! I'm gonna make electricity! Oh, and there's Dwat and Gosh on the road. And then there's. Oh, that's Duke. Okay, with the squirrel. Duke with the squirrel. That's the f that's Tarkarai that fell from the sky yeah, on top of the mountains north of the Aspia. Make sure to double save, triple save, and quadruple save. Save, save, save. <laughs> Alright, well, that was the end of Tales of Vesperia. I don't know if I'm going to record uh, all the bonus stuff, but if I do record all the bonus dungeons and stuff, uh, you might going to see it on my YouTube account. You see where you're watching this video. But this was the end of Tales of Vesperia. I don't know if I'm going to do the post-game stuff, because there's a lot of post-game stuff. We'll see. Bye-bye!